Good afternoon, students, and welcome to this week's Character Education. Uh, given what's going on in the world and our country right now, I thought it would be a good time to do a lesson on diversity. So that's a word, along with another word, unique, that we're going to learn and talk about at the end of the story. So this lesson is going to start with a story called The King's Garden. Let me go ahead and begin. So, once upon a time, there was a king who loved flowers. He thought nothing that was, uh, was as beautiful as a field of flowers, not a rainbow, not the blue ocean, or a majestic forest. He wished that all the people in his kingdom felt the same way because he thought it would be wonderful to have his entire kingdom covered with blooming flowers. So one night, as he lay in bed, the king tried to come up with a plan that would encourage people to plant gardens full of beautiful flowers. All of a sudden, a simple idea came to him. He's going to have a contest. So the next day, the king sent men on horses to travel throughout the kingdom and announce the contest. The person who could grow the most beautiful garden would win a treasure chest full of gold and jewels. Wow, look at that. So when the people heard the king's plan, they became very excited. Everyone began to plant a garden, hoping to win the king's contest. So the king's coachman planted a garden full of tulips that were gorgeous. He knew that the king loved tulips because he always said so on their drives through the kingdom. So when the king saw it, he said, wow, I love tulips and this is a very beautiful garden, but I'm sorry, I don't think it's the most beautiful garden in my kingdom. Hmm. So it's very nice, but it didn't win. Meanwhile, the king's baker said, well, I know what kind of flower the king likes. Whenever he orders a cake, he always requests that roses made of ices, icing being put on top. So I know that the king loves roses, especially pink ones. And that's what I'm going to grow in my garden. So the ba baker planted a garden full of wonderful pink roses. Look at that. And when the king saw it, he said, wow, the color of these roses is breathtaking. And I love roses. But... I'm afraid I don't consider this the most beautiful garden in my kingdom. So we didn't win either. And the contest went on and on. Many people thought they knew just what kind of flower the king would probably like. So they planted a garden full of that kind of flower. But each time the king saw it, he would smile, he would compliment the garden, and then he would say, this is not the winning garden. One day, a elementary school teacher had just given an assignment and was watching her class work. As she watched her students, her thoughts began to wander. She thought of the king's contest and how much the treasure would mean to all these children if she could only think of some way to win the contest. But she didn't know anything about flowers. She only knew about children. And as she watched all their beautiful faces and thought about how different each child was, suddenly she had an idea. She couldn't wait to go home and begin planting. The teacher planted and watered and cared very lovingly for her garden. And finally, it was ready for the king to come and see it. And when he arrived, he was awestruck. He was just, <gasps> let me show you. It certainly was the most beautiful garden he had ever seen. The teacher had planted one of every kind of flower because, just like her children, no two flowers were the same. And the king announced that the teacher had won the contest. He ordered right away that she be awarded the chest full of gold and jewels. So she took it right to the school to share with her children. They had earned it. They had been her inspiration. They had been what, why she thought of the idea that won the contest. So why do you think this garden was the most beautiful in the kingdom? Why is this garden better than the others? Do you know the answer? It's because this garden is different. All the flowers are different. All the flowers are unique. They're not the same kind. Let me show you some other uh, examples of very, very different and unique gardens. Take a look at this one. So in this garden, not only are the flowers different colors, but they're all different kinds. There's different shapes, different sizes, you know, against the backdrop of this lake and these mountains. Really, really, really beautiful garden. Or how about this one? Uh, right next to this stream, different colors, different kinds of flowers arranged in different patterns. Here's another one that I found a picture of. Some of them are hanging, some of them are growing up from the ground. There's a little cat right there. <laughs> and the last one is around a path. And again, they're all arranged differently, different colors, different shapes, different sizes. And that's what makes these gardens unique. That's what makes them uh, better than the other gardens is that they're all 
very, very different. All the flowers are very, very different. So let's talk about those words that I've been using. Okay, and the first one is unique. So what does that word mean? Unique means one of a kind. It means different than anyone else. Because it's true that everyone in the world is unique. This means that everyone is different from one another and no two people are exactly the same. You know, some people may look similar, but they're, they're unique in different ways. They have different personalities. Um, everybody has different strengths and weaknesses. You know, there are things that we're all good at and all, there, everybody has things that they need to improve. You know, for example, somebody might be really good at reading, but not so good at math. They need to improve their math. Or somebody might be really good at math, but they're not so good at kickball or sports. Um, somebody might be really good at art, but, not, um, but needs to improve at something else. So everybody's unique. We all have strengths. We all have talents. Uh, and no two people are the same. Now let's talk about the other word diversity. And diversity, as you can see, means a variety, a range of different things. So just um, like the gardens in the story, you know, being different from one another is a very good thing. You know, that's what makes the world an interesting place. Because if everyone looked and acted the same, just like the gardens in the story, the world would be a very boring place. It wouldn't be a very fun place to be. Okay, it's also very important that we are respectful of other people that are different from us. Okay, that is part of our, our hymn dog. You know, respect all living things. So, no matter what a person's skin color is, or what language they speak, or what their culture is, it's important to remember that it's diversity that makes the world interesting, and it's very important to be respectful of one another's differences, because that's what makes them unique. So remember that, you know, we're all unique, but it's diversity that makes a world an interesting and fun place, and we have to respect other people for being different from us. So that ends this week's lesson. Uh, I would like you to go ahead and do the check on learning quiz. Um, also do the weekly check-in, you know, where you rate yourself, and you can do your journal if you want. And that's it for this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.